Hey guys, I'm going to show you uh, one of my most favorite bread recipes as of late. Um, I picked this up from Yankee Prepper's channel a while back. Um, this is actually a screen clipping from the video that he did on how to make this bread. I think he called it SHTF bread or something like that. Um, I'll post a link to it so you guys can watch that here. But essentially all it is is two cups of water, five cups of flour, third of a cup of sugar, third of a cup of honey, a tablespoon of salt, three tablespoons of olive oil, and four tablespoons of yeast. Um, I use the KitchenAid with this attachment that comes with it. It's the bread maker's attachment. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll take you along for the ride with this. So what we got here is the third of a cup of sugar, the third of a cup of honey, the two cups of warm water, and the three teaspoons of yeast in here. And we're just letting that bloom. Um, this is the way I like to do it. Um, theoretically, the yeast has something to eat and the, um, the warm water is waking up the yeast. Um, I keep my yeast in the uh, refrigerator, so it um, it takes a little while longer than, no, than, I guess, keeping it on your shelf to get it active. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to let this sit here and bloom, and then I'll combine the ingredients and start letting it rise. So after I let the yeast bloom, I pour the uh, mixture into the um, KitchenAid mixer bucket here and then I turn it to number two and I just let it go for a while here um, sometimes you gotta add more flour sometimes you gotta add more water um, just keep an eye on it see what happens so now we got our dough here I put the um, a little bit of the olive oil on it there um, this helps while it's rising it'll uh, grease the sides of the pan so it's easier to get the loaf or I guess the dough out of this after it rises and then I'll split the uh, bread and the risen loaf in half and put it into bread pans and I might let it rise a little longer but this is how I first let it rise here another trick I've learned from I don't know if it was my mom or my grandma but um, when you're letting bread rise in these newer ovens without a pilot light, turn on the um, the light in the oven and that should be just enough heat to let it rise in the oven. Um, obviously you don't want the oven so hot that it's going to cook it, so I think even on the lowest setting in at least my oven, it'll um, start to cook it and you don't want that. So. I find that just leaving the oven light on in there is enough heat to um, let it rise, especially when the house is a little cooler in the winter. So as you can see, the uh, dough here has pretty much doubled in size, maybe even a little more than doubled in size. I put a little cornmeal in the bottom of my bread pans here, and then I'm warming the oven up to 400 degrees. Uh, so yeah, I'll pop this in the oven and we'll see how it turns out. And so after baking for 30 minutes, I pulled the bread out. Um, it's really good. I've already eaten a slice or two of it. Um, it uh, This loaf I probably should have let rise a little longer once I put it in the pan. Um, but either way, it's still good. It's really, there's nothing better than home baked bread. And it's really a skill everyone should have, especially everyone that calls themselves a prepper. Thanks for watching. Bye.